In this video, I want to talk a little bit about the movement in the Dow today. Now, what's interesting is that we're anticipating a market uh, update on interest rates. And so we are waiting for, or we got about an hour and a half still until we get our announcement on whether they're going to raise the interest rates. And you can see the market is already preparing for them to say no, apparently, because uh, generally speaking, if, the, if they're going to raise the interest rates, the stock market would fall. But this is an anticipation prior to uh, the announcement that this is saying that the markets, you know, they're, they're saying that we think that, the, that they're not going to raise interest rates. So something may have leaked, somebody knows something, but this market started to move an hour, almost two hours before um, the announcement on whether they're going to raise the interest rates or not, and this market started to take off. Now I want to show you something very interesting. I want to bring this into your attention, and the first thing I want to do is I want to turn on a new tool. Well, it's not new, new but it's kind of new to us. We haven't been using it very much, so we're going to turn on this um, uh, it's it's called volume by price and what you're going to see down here is when you look at the volume by price you see this green uh, volume bar on the left hand side of the market and what it does is it shows you where the high amounts of volume are what's really important about this is we want to be able to time this properly so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to come into this uh, the chart so I'm going to I'm going to just bring this down to a range bar 12 and I'm going to do that just to make this a little simpler for us but I want to show you this is the beginning of the day this white line okay this is our time zone that I've got turned on down here and if you come over to the volume by price you'll notice that it's set by price bars back and then number of bars. Number of bars is how how many bars you have on the screen and you can either increase that or decrease that. Sometimes it's easier if we decrease that down a little bit to see where the the major volume is. But I want to show you a neat little trick because this is price bars back what we want to do is we want to see from the starting of the day so what we're going to do is just going to draw the bar tool and it's this is an easy calculation when you're using minute charts but uh, when you're using range bar charts it's not such an easy calculation so we have a tool in here that we can just draw and of course you can do this with minute charts too but look that says tells us 129 actual bars so we come in here I can scoot this up to 129 and it's going to tell us the bars for the day 129 bars uh, and I stretch that from the beginning so that's the last four hours and 20 minutes we've had uh, 129 range bars on the range bar 12 and so now you see a large um, grouping of volume right in this area here a small grouping of volume here as the market trended you can see we had a lot of sideways market this morning the market uh, spent a lot of time in this trend and then a small amount of time as it as it, as it made a price uh, adjustment and rallied up to this price and now it started to as you can see go sideways as we go into the lunchtime session here but this is the volume that you're seeing a lot of a large number of volume bars means that we've got a static market going through a sideways trend uh, a small number of bars during this time frame means that the market's in a trending mode and we've not been in that market very long or in that time price range very long and then you can see as the bars start to grow once again we're starting to go back into a narrow sideways channel so this is just a, a nice little volume bar uh, tool that's uh, kind of gives you an indication of where markets are trending through and where they spend a lot of time ranging and so that I thought would be something that you'd find interesting as we are watching these markets uh, in anticipation of our announcement for whether they're going to raise the interest rates or not. Hi my name is Lan Turner founder of TradeMenders.com. Please subscribe to our day trading channel and make sure to click the bell so you get notified when we post new current market videos and trade recommendations. I've also linked a couple of my favorite videos here, so please enjoy the next video.